In this video here, I want to sort of show you something that's a bit difficult to understand and see, but I shall try. And what this has to do with this is the sun on the on the celestial sphere. So we know the stars are all over the celestial sphere. That's what we've sort of studied in that worksheet and uh, some of the animation I showed you in earlier videos. But what about the good old sun on the celestial sphere? Because after all, let's just say the sun is on the blanket. Remember we said the celestial sphere is all these objects painted on the inside of the blanket and the blanket's rotating and hey, the sun's on it. Let's just check it out. So you'll do this in a lab that will do that I'll sort of assign, or maybe I've assigned it already, I'm not exactly sure yet. But as you probably know, over the course of the day, the sun rises, reaches the highest point around noon, and then sets again. You can see the nice red sunset over there, kind of a nice graphic there. This is time lapse over the course of a day. I didn't take it, but it's kind of nice. And you also know the picture of the solar system by now, that is the Earth rotates around the sun it's tilted at 23 and a half degrees, so it's tilted towards the sun in this orientation here and away from the sun. And that's the uh, big driver behind our seasons. Remember, our seasons are all about the tilt. So we've done this. And we also discussed the extent of the tropics. The parts that can experience the direct sun's rays are only in a very narrow middle section of the sun. And of course, the numerical extent of the tropics has to do with the tilt of the sun itself. Tilt to the Earth, pardon me, itself, 23 and a half degrees, sort of sets the tropics. And down here in Australia, you can actually go visit the Tropic of Capricorn if you like. So one of the hardest um, celestial sphere pictures that there, are, that there possibly is that exists is this one right here. Here's a setup for it. This is just what you would sort of remember, think that here's the Earth tilted into existence in the solar system, in its orbit, and the sun's right here. But this one's drawn a bit differently here. In particular, they sort of have the sun on this more or less level plane here and the earth tilted within that instead of the picture over here where the sun, the earth is clearly the one that's tilted here. So it's slightly different, but maybe you can just check it out. And now what the most complicated picture in all of astronomy is, I think, is this one right here. Now, just why this is such a difficult figure, I'll pick up in the next video.